Good morning. Today I'll be showing you this simple door I designed for my little hobbit hole and how it works, how I made it, what inspired me to do it and everything about it. So here we go. First let's talk about the door itself. Here is a stripped down version of it. Uh, this note block doesn't close it as well as this one. Only this one closes. Closes it. And both of those open it. If you get stuck inside, yeah, uh, I'll fall, uh, frequently fall, uh, for, I'm forgetting that this doesn't close it. So you can open it from inside also with this note block. So all, all three note blocks can open it, but only this one can close it. Here is a door. Uh, it is 9x9x5. Nine by nine by uh, it uses uh, 191 blocks, which gives it 4.7 density. Well, I mean 47% density. Zero. Almost half of the space is occupied by redstone. Yes, and uh, here it opens in 1.8 seconds and opens in 2 seconds and closes in 1.8 seconds. I just measure it and what, that's why I don't remember it. I was uh just now making changes to to it so that's why new numbers you know and uh, i have uh, this version which is just a half of it which is four wide unfortunately i couldn't figure out a way to get rid of this nasty nasty counter uh, or to move it in words i just left it in also there is uncontained slime so i don't know if this will, will would make any difference so yeah it's not also immediately inside the wall you have a few blocks uh, so i don't know it depends on what you're building it's pretty compact i'm happy with it so um, the idea, the basic idea of uh, having an old block in the middle and activating the door with it uh, is, has been in a community for a while. Uh, Ilmanga thought of it as uh, quickly as the observers came in, but every door that was made was with a nasty observer here. And that was the, you know, the whole thing that activated uh, the door. Let's see, does it fix itself? No, it doesn't. How is it? Ah. Yeah, it's pushed. There should be a block. Give me a block. There should be a block, yes. And now it's just clocking. All right, this has tendency to clock itself, but only when it breaks. Only when it breaks, then it's clocking itself. When it's uh, working, it shouldn't do that. All right. It sometimes desynchronizes the middle part with the outside part. It has a few problems. I can fix it on offline pretty easily. And the counter now it's in the wrong position. Yeah. Why this doesn't work? What the hell did I do? It was too much blocks in the door flame. All right, let's close it. All right, we gain. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, all the door that uh, was made after a manga was with this nasty observer below no block uh, instead of this block. And I wasn't satisfied with that. I wanted a uh, have seamless design because you know when when you open it it's pr it's non seamless but uh, when it's closed it's uh, seamless so uh, i was looking and i found only one door uh, 
let me see, is it here? No, it isn't. So cut to the part when I can find it. Uh -huh. So many cuts, I'm not so not prepared. Alrighty, I have a schematic. Let me give me that and now uh, that's the bind. Load schematic, this one. Load it. And I guess it can be here. Alright, the only door I found that was seamless is this one. Now let me get the schematic out of the way. Hello? Ah! It doesn't close with that, it closes with a button. Yes? Is it right? Hello? This is literally the, the schematic I downloaded. Why doesn't it work? It goes here, then here, no. It goes here. And then I suppose... Give me full bright. Then yes, it goes here, here, and it should power this. Yes, there is a pulse extender, as I remember, as I recall. And it should power this thing. Is this getting powered? Be as it is. And then, is this not full? I don't know, I just broke it. Maybe the schematic, you know, doesn't have this full. Let's check. Yes, that was the problem. So, as I mentioned, this is uh, the only door I found. Yeah, and it's uh, bigger, slightly, not much, I think, because of this pulse extender. And uh, what? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, the second cauldron also is also is uh, empty. Yeah. What the hell? Now it's gonna be switching sides. Alright, let me quickly short this piston. Could I have a bottom? Thank you. Has it fixed? Can you now work, please? Oh, and also because of this pulse extender it has some some time when it actually isn't responding. What now? Oh my gosh. What the hell is this? Is there any more color? Like, I don't know, containers that aren't full? So this is the door. It's more bulky. These Oh, now it works. And uh, it is just a different design. It's nice, it is nice. It's bigger and it has this pulse extender. I tried uh, cutting it in half and maybe compacting it. That's uh, what I came what I came up with. Uh, I just modified it. It's by the red commander. And uh, literally I just moved some stuff, changed the wiring and it is still pretty bulky. Uh, because of this pulse extender. So I thought, why don't I change the activation altogether? This layout with the node blocks with the observers are pretty cool, but I came up with using where it is here, uh, using a slime block to put two observers and a node block and thus creating a wire. So then I needed a double piston extender from the side. And then I uh, saw that it activates twice. Twice on the arrival and once on the... Um, no, once on the arrival. Yeah. Wait, twice on the arrival and once on the leaving sequence. Ah, my English sucks, bro. So yeah, it activates three times on its own, so every fourth time I press the button, I want something to happen. Uh, so then I uh, checked uh, different uh, different double piston extenders online, and this is the best one. 
because it's fast and it uh, uses the observer it that uh, it's easier to get observer input going because this both of those are designed to work with a button so around 10 tick pulses it can be slightly modified i think the 8 is the slowest the both of this run but it's still pretty long pulse so it needs a pulse extender like that though where it is there so this is better pulse extend uh, double piston extender so then I just uh, take took the same door that the uh, the red commander did. It's just this cool one white door. Here it is. It's just a different design. I'm gonna link it below and slap my mechanism inside it. Then I had some. Uh, then I did this uh, every fourth time activation. It's simple hopper counter. Actually, it's every third time. I don't know. Uh, it's weird. Every third time, and then I activate here my here and here my uh, double piston extender. And here is weird wiring for the uh, do both of the door activation. I have a composter. It could be a, also a cold one, but composter is cheaper and it activates here it goes it's the weirdest wiring ever but i uh, had trouble with interference with this redstone so that's why it's so weird and clunky also it has stiffly plop inside yeah so i think that's everything i wanted to say links to download not this word download because as you can see it's pretty messy i was trying around with some stuff because I really don't want it to be five wide, so I thought maybe you could update a budded piston. But this has lots of lots of problems, actually, and lots of problems. Uh, as you can see, this is a door frame, and it's a torch inside, a movable thingy. If this is a door frame, it uh, seems to be fine, but yeah it still has some problems it's really really hard to actually make a budded piston self resetting budded piston that can be moved out of the way uh, i suppose it is possible so maybe there is a door that there is a, a you know new a, there is a possibility that some giga charge redstoneer makes a, a better version of the door I would be really happy to see that because I don't want to build this five white thing in my survival world. So if this reaches any redstoneers, please try this. Try make seamless note block door. I mean, it's not entirely seamless. It's partially seamless. Uh, try making it. Yeah, and that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching it. Bye. Now let's edit this bitch.